Hello from Slovenia again. <coughs> Today I have three canvases, little ones here. They are 8 by 10, so it will be a triptych. So all together will be 10 by 24. And I will do a marble pour, but a little different. I will do, because uh, when I do those marble pours, you know that I cover all my canvas, I think that they are a little busy. If I do ones with um, negative space, sometimes I just uh, miss a little uh, a little more color or how can I say so I decided that I will do one where I will do puddles and tilt it around in this one and these two will be just with a negative space and we will see how this will all work uh, so I will just do this and bring you a little closer because I will work one canvas at the time even though that it will be you know um, what is wrong with you okay uh, even that they will be uh, that this will be a triptych I will work one at the time so let me bring you closer and then we will do we will see all three together and for the base I will do two with the negative space first and I will talk about colors in the first one and then I will probably speed the second one so this is uh, Amsterdam sky blue light and this will be my base I don't want white base I want it to do kind of a, I don't know colored base and I decided that I will use blues today so I will just spread my base nice and smooth go to one corner and the other and to the last one to cover my canvas uh, and I will check the sides and you, you know you can use your drips from the table to do the sides so I have to check this one too okay this is done I will wipe my hands a little bit torch and then I will add three little puddles because I want to keep quite some negative space on this one on two I will say I don't know if this will turn out okay or not but um, I want to try that so my colors I have Prussian phthalo from Amsterdam and I will do three little puddles here in the middle.
and now I will grab marbles and I will start from here because I think that I have a little more paint and I will go just slowly through here. marble in the in the water and I will grab clean one and start from here This time I will play a little more. I don't know if the the brown one is the best idea. I don't know. On the top, I should say. And I will break this part. Go through here. And just roll it down. This one, really not sure about this uh, brown on top. And from here, I want to break this part a little bit. I would love to have other some other color on the top but now it is what it is just try to do this just give it a little more movement with tilting this a little bit I'm just thinking that I need something here and I will the, I will work without my gloves because I just don't like work with gloves anymore. So I just 
go through here a little bit and do a little swirl think that I think that I'm done with this one so I will put this one on the side and grab another one for the one that I will do a negative space and then I will be back with you talking when I will do the one with um, where I will do the, the whole canvas. So let's start. <clears throat> so since I think that these two don't look much alike together, you see, I will do this one as my uh, one where I will have puddles all around. So I will just go with of bigger puddles and till this one all over you know and hopefully this will not end up at, at like a total mess because I was thinking that I will add less paint and then I realized that it's totally different than the first one so and because it's a triptych it's ha it has to be a little 
<laughs> similar I think okay add the glue Playtime. I will start from the middle this time. And I have a, a ton of paint this time. Too much paint. And I will tilt it now and then I will go back with my marble. lot of paint so let's go through here and just <gasps> don't fall down at me yet because I want to play with you some more you know my sweet marble. <laughs> oh. This Conequadon burnt orange looks really weird right now, but when it's dry, it's not, it's a beautiful color, so. To break this part a little bit more, go down and this. Part here, probably. I will leave it like this, put it aside and do 
the negative space one once more. So let's grab those marbles. So, here it is, uh, not exactly what I was going for, but I think that this, uh, because you know there are some pleasant iridescent paints and this Conequa uh, don't burn orange dry really nice so I think that this could look quite interesting together while they will dry I had some issues as you saw because <laughs> I changed my mind in the middle of doing the second um, uh, one with the negative space but because you know this is just a little too busy for me and maybe this is I don't know so uh, I was just thinking I will do that that just to see how maybe this could look you know on the wall maybe on some bigger elongated canvases or whatever and I think that it could that they complement each other quite well so tell me do you want me to do <coughs> sorry more play more with that maybe in some purples or even some fluorescents with black, I don't know. So tell me what you think about it. I will say that I like it and I like this color combination too because I was a little, you know, at first because of all this brown, but I think that it will be <coughs> sorry, okay when it will dry. So this was it for today. Ah, something wrong with my throat. Uh, have a nice Friday. No, Thursday. It's not Friday yet. And see you on the next one. Bye.